Hello. This is Kara Coffee from the Ministry of Uncover No More. The sun is right in my face. We are living in such a time as focus in our individual lives, excuse me, and in our government, whether that be local, state, or federal, and in our social lives, whether that be gaming or social media or a church or a store where you go every day and you have friends or your work friends and family or maybe you're like me maybe you're a solitary pagan which means you have friends you have friends and you keep moving in the music of universal, universal love, universal love, and one of my authors is T.S. Eliot, a great poet in that zone of my life. Do you summon the wisdom of the sun in your life? Do you have a moment in the morning, perhaps, where you just stop everything and you go and you put your face right in the sun? I want to challenge you to do that. There is great wisdom in finding the sun and meeting with the sun face to face each day. There is great wisdom there inside your soul. Not to mention the fact we all know the healing powers of the sun and the vitamin exchange with our skin that happens. It just takes a few moments. You would be surprised the ancient wisdom, the knowing who you are and why you're here that you can't even form into words in your head. You just can't, but you're more secure and you you go back into your place more centered to just have a few moments each day or several days a week face to face with the sun. This is an interesting piece of grass. It's pretty. Now, I'm going to go not quite black screen because our grass is in hibernation. <laughs> Remember, Kara wants two things. Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill and universal health care. I want my children to be taken care of. I want to be taken care of for the rest of my life without so much stress. And I want that for you and your children. I think a lot of angst on social media would go away if we had universal health care. Think about it that way, if you can, please. Stock market, Walmart, Costco, Merck, Freescale, New York City, huge businesses. If you could all think about that, I would appreciate it. And uh, right now we need COVID-19 relief. That's the big duh. <laughs> okay, so for me, I'm gonna come back to my life, come back to earth, so to speak, and I'm gonna read Roman numeral four by T.S. Eliot, Sitting in the Sun. Who walked between the violet and the violet? Who walked between? the various ranks of varied green, going in white and blue, in Mary's color, talking of trivial things, in ignorance and in knowledge of eternal dolor, who moved among the others as they walked, who then made strong the fountains and made fresh the springs, made cool the dry rock and made firm the sand, in blue of larkspur, blue of Mary's color. Sovinga Voss. Here are the years that walk between 
bearing, away the fiddles and the flutes, restoring, one who moves in the time between sleep and waking, wearing white light folded, sheathed about her, folded, the New Year's walk, restoring, through a bright cloud of tears, the years, restoring, with a new verse, the ancient rhyme, redeem, the time, redeem, the unread vision in the higher dream, while jeweled unicorns draw by the gilded hearse. The silent sister veiled in white and blue between the yews behind the garden god. His flute is breathless, bent her head and signed, but spoke no word. But the fountain sprang up and the bird sang down, redeemed the time redeem the dream, the token of the word unheard, unspoken, till the wind shake a thousand whispers from the you. And after this, our exile. Which is exactly where I am. I hope you find where you are in a poem. It doesn't mean I'm going to stay there. It means that's where I am in this season. I hope you have a glorious, wonderful, marvelous day.